Panama Papers, Accounting Switzerland, Tax Avoidance. How many times have you heard these words? I'm sure that more than you can remember. But now I want you to think, are you sure that you really know how they affect you? I'm Adrian, I'm 58 years old and after 35 years working for a company, I was fired and right now I'm a long-term unemployed. There's no money to pay my subsidy, so I have to feed my family from a food bank. As you can imagine, I am not Adrian, but this is a real story. We all have heard these stories like this one. Maybe, unfortunately, you know someone in such a situation. And you, or I, or someone we love can be in that situation. This is how tax avoidance affects you. Public expenditure should be financed to a greater extent by the richer ones through the tax system. That's not new and I'm sure that you, like me, pay religiously all your taxes because if we don't do it well, we can have a big problem, right? However, big companies and other less taxpayers create complex business structures in order to avoid paying taxes. For example, Apple submits to our tax agency 100 times less than it earns. The consequence of this behavior is that the state does not have enough money to pay for healthcare, education, or the unemployment allowance. And no, you're right, that's not fair. But let me tell you that there's a rule in our legal system called General Anti Avoidance Rule, whose primary function is to prosecute tax avoidance structures. It sounds good, right? The problem is that this rule has legal flaws that make it ineffective and, consequently, invest in tax avoidance is still free. For example, one of the main problems is that it is very difficult to know these structures before they are done. And once they take place, they cannot be penalized by the rule because they are shielded based on legal loopholes. What I do in my thesis is to study these and other problems and propose appropriate solution to make this rule functional. For example, how can we remove the legal gaps in the rule or what information should be provided by the companies in order to prevent the application of these schemes? How I do that? Well, I work with the three basic legal tools that we have in law that are the course precedents, the work of the most important experts and the national and international law, in concrete the new measures proposed by the OECD and the EU. Based on these tools, we can find a way to implement successfully the anti avoidance rule and effectively prosecute tax avoidance. Tax avoidance is not only a buzzword in the news, it's a crime that can affect you more directly than you can imagine, but there's a solution. Now I want you to think, do you want to solve it?